Let's say you have a friend, like we all do, that is an absolute know-it-all. We will call him Smart Alex, and he makes a statement. He says that a person's average text messages sent per day are 138. You think that this is not true, and you want to prove that this dude is wrong. One of the ways to do this is by conducting a hypothesis test. If you remember, a parameter is a characteristic of a population, and a statement about a population parameter is called a statistical hypothesis. When we want to test a population parameter, we can do this through a hypothesis test by using sample statistics to test the claim about a value of a population parameter. In this procedure, we start by stating a pair of hypotheses. One of the hypotheses represents the claim, and the other hypothesis represents the complement of the claim. So in our example, the claim that Smart Alex made was that mu, the population mean, is equal to 138, and the complement of the claim is that mu does not equal 138. The two hypotheses that we use are called the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis, and either of these may represent the claim. The next statement is very important to remember. The null hypothesis contains a mathematical statement of equality, which can be equal to, less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. The alternative hypothesis is the complement of the null hypothesis, and it contains a statement of strict inequality, not equal to, greater than, or less than. The symbol often used for the null hypothesis is H sub zero, or H naught, and the symbol used for the alternative hypothesis is H sub A, or H sub one. And I will be using H sub A in these hypothesis testing videos. So in our example, Smart Alex's claim of mu equals 138 is the null hypothesis, H sub zero, because it contains the equal sign, a statement of equality. Some potential pairings of hypotheses are listed here, and K represents a claim value. In number one, we have for H sub zero, mu equals K, and for H sub A, mu not equal to K, which is what our example is. In number two, we have for H sub zero, mu greater than or equal to K, and for H sub A, mu less than K. And in number three, we have for H sub zero, mu less than or equal to K, and for H sub A, mu greater than K. As you can see, in each of these, the statement of equality is in the null hypothesis, H sub zero and the inequality is in the alternative hypothesis, H sub A. It's important to identify the null and alternative hypotheses before actually constructing the testing. And a tip is that it is sometimes easier if you focus on the claim. So write the claim out mathematically first. All right, let's go through a couple of examples. A website published a report that the mean time for taking a shower is eight minutes. So the claim is that mu is equal to eight. The null hypothesis contains the equality, so H sub zero is mu is equal to eight and the alternative hypothesis is the complement of the null hypothesis and contains the inequality, so H sub A is mu does not equal A. A magazine recently reported that the mean life of a certain cell phone is less than three years, so the claim is that mu is less than three. The alternative hypothesis contains the inequality, so H sub A is mu less than three, and the complement of that is mu is greater than or equal to three, and that is our null hypothesis, with the equality in this statement. A recent report stated the mean time spent on a treadmill at the gym is more than 14 minutes. So the claim is that mu is greater than 14. The alternative hypothesis contains the inequality, so H sub A is mu greater than 14. And the complement of that is mu is less than or equal to 14. And that is our null hypothesis, again with the equality in this statement. And one more, a popular Instagram influencer claimed that 72.3% of people are deficient in vitamin C and should definitely buy her product. So the claim is that the population proportion, P, is equal to 0.723. The null hypothesis contains the equality, so H sub zero is P equals 0.723. And the alternative hypothesis is the complement of the null hypothesis and contains the inequality. So H sub A is P does not equal 0.723. All right, my friends, that be the basics on the concepts of hypothesis testing. I will link other hypothesis testing videos down in the description box below once I've posted them. Hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.